All right, Seventeen Magazine says, quote, we're obsessed. They're not talking about the latest beauty product or prom fashion, but they're talking about this, a brand new novel called Something In Between. And like a lot of good stories, it starts from a somewhat personal experience. I'm excited to welcome New York Times bestselling author Melissa De La Cruz. Melissa, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, thank you for joining us. Now, I, I just want to get started and talk about your heroine here, Jasmine De Los Santos. Tell me a little bit about her. Well, Jasmine is a hardworking um, kid. She's a senior in high school. She's head cheerleader, class president, you know, on uh, the national honor roll. And she uh, wins a scholarship to the, any college of her choice. It's a big presidential national scholarship. And she's so excited. You know, all her dreams are coming true. She, you know, has an American dream. She wants to be a doctor. And when she comes home to tell her parents, you know, hey, mom and dad, don't worry about college. I can afford it now. We can, I can go. They tell her, oh, my God, you can't accept this. Um, and when she asks why, they tell her, uh, we're in the country uh, illegally. You're an undocumented uh, immigrant. And so it shatters her world. And she's just devastated because she's always thought she was American. And uh, the book is about her journey um, to becoming American, to fighting for um, her chance to stay in the country and making her dreams come true. I mean, it's such a potent topic right now and something you have a little bit of experience with. Tell me about your, your life growing up. Definitely. I came here as an immigrant um, on my dad's business visa. Uh, I came at 13 and uh, uh, went to high school uh, in San Francisco and went to Columbia University. And it took me a long time to get my citizenship while we were here legally. It's just such a long and arduous process. And uh, I married my husband uh, and I got my citizenship when I was 40. Wow. So uh, even though I had grown up here and had felt American all my life, uh, it, it just is such a long bureaucratic, um, you know, uh, journey to becoming an American. So I think I don't think people know that how hard it is and how long people wait. Yeah, something a lot of us take it. Uh, take for granted, you know, like, so we've got hot topics like immigration, we've got a strong female character, but I also understand there's a there's a little love story thrown in there, too. Yes, there's a little bit of a <laughs> Romeo and Juliet love story where uh, Jasmine, our hardworking immigrant heroine, uh, meets Royce, who's the dashing and handsome son of a politician who's against immigration reform. So there's a little bit of a conflict between them. But more than that, it's a love story with America. You know, it's about Jasmine's love for her country, her patriotism, her idealism. So the, the main love is about the love with America. <laughs> And where can we go for more information? Uh, we can go to my website, melissa-delacruz.com. And I'm always on Twitter when I'm not writing, <laughs> or maybe when I am writing, <laughs> at Twitter at Melissa De La Cruz. All right, Melissa, thank you so much for joining us. Again, the book is just gorgeous. And, of course, the story inside is great as well. If you missed anything, you can go to our website, fox 4 Morning Blend. Com. And since we're talking about books, let's take a look at what's topping the New York Times bestseller list right now. Let's turn the pages of hardcover nonfiction first. Coming in at number five is Hero of the Empire. This book is about the African adventures of a young Winston Churchill. At number four, Hillbilly Elegy, a Yale Law School graduate, looks at the struggles of the working class. Funny woman Amy Schumer is in the third spot with her humorous personal stories in The Girl with the Lower Back Tattoo. At number two, a woman who overcomes an eating disorder and a cheating husband to grow in Love Warrior. And the number one hardcover nonfiction book is by Bill O'Reilly and Martin Dugard, Killing the Rising Sun, covering the final years of World War II. All right, moving over to fiction. In at number five right now is Razor Girl, where ex-cop Andrew Yancey is involved in a kidnapping gone wrong. The Woman in Cabin 10 is a story about a travel writer on a cruise. All is well until she's certain a body has been thrown overboard. That's at number four. The Underground Railroad is in at number three. It's the story of an enslaved girl heading towards freedom. At number two, Commonwealth. It's a tale of five decades of two families and their secrets. And the hardcover fiction book on top right now is Home. It's about a pair of friends finding a boy after he was kidnapped 10 years earlier. Of course, books are a great way to entertain yourself as an adult or as a kid. But you know what else is? Legos. Oh, yeah. 
Just wait to see the new game from the Building Block Company. You're going to want to buy it for your kid just so you can play with it yourself. Stick around.